Michelle with Michelle Art Art. Welcome to my channel. So glad you can join me today. And I'm going to be demonstrating um, on my video um, this piece here. This is my first um, large piece. This is a 15 by 30 of a triple bloom. It's not deconstructed. As a matter of fact, um, it's it has a very low pillow, and the idea I got from um, Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. So as you can see, this is a, a fairly large piece. And I'm very happy to share with you. And so the colors that I'm using today, I didn't bring my pillow paint up, but my colors that I'm using, the pillow paint is um, Glidden Premium uh, Pure White. It's the um, semi-gloss, and I add just a little bit of water just to help with the flow. I don't add anything else to it, no GAC 300 or anything like that. And I found that it's easier to do it that way because I I used to use Minwax um, Polycrylic as my polyurethane to mix in my pouring medium. But since I've gone with the Varathane uh, Triple Thick, um, semi-gloss polyurethane um, it really has a different way of drying and so it has less cracking no crazing or anything like that so if you haven't tried it in your pouring medium I highly recommend it now that's just coming from me you may want to do something on your own or follow someone else's recipe that's fine too but I just wanted to be able to save money because with this, I don't have to spend the money or even waste any money on putting expensive GAC 800 into my pillow paint because it hasn't been necessary. And as you can see, this piece really dried very fabulously. No cracking, no anything. And it had a very low pillow. I did no tilting whatsoever and I just let it dry and it dried perfectly. So I'm gonna show you that in the video. Um, the first color I used, it says, I don't have it as a cell activator, but it's great as a color. This is the Master's Touch um, two paint black. I think it's this Mars black baby. I don't know, it's black. No, it's called Permanent Black permanent black right there so then I have prism pour Mayan gold in the video I said Tuscan gold because there's another color called Tuscan Sun which is similar to this so I crossed the names up and used my Tuscan gold well actually I used Mayan gold so this prism pour right here very shimmery color I love it um, this is a new color called sour lemon by color of our prison pour sour lemon and it really shows up against black there's a new um, warm cold warm tones and cool tones um, set that they have on the website but this really shows up on a black background it doesn't get lost I mean, it's just a wonderful thing to show up. I have, but I don't have a piece here, but I do have some other pieces that have a black background to it. Now, as part of the new set of the iridescent silks that's coming out, no, that's it's out, but this is the one called French silk. And this, is, this almost has a gold interference feel to it, but it's still kind of like a creamier, it's like a creamy white, but you have all this gold interference and red interference spark where it goes through it as well. And this has lent itself great with this um, theme I have. And the theme I have, as you can see the black, the yellow, and the gold, then of course, with a white background, then I have African Violet, Prism Pour. So with the purple, the black, the white, and the gold. You know I'm from Baltimore, 
So yeah, that's my football team's colors, the Baltimore Ravens. So this is a pour um, uh, dedicated to them. Uh, I have a little bit to kind of outline some of the cells of the Titanium White Amsterdam as my um, color underneath my black cell activator, but also I have Amsterdam in the middle flower. I have Amsterdam white um, as a cell activator on the top layer. And then lastly, my other cell activator, my main cell activator on the other two blooms is this is my um, Atelier Interactive. Um, this is what I use with my U.S. Floetrol. In fact, I use both both of these cell activators it has U U.S. Floetrol in it, and it's U.S. Floetrol, two parts to one part water. There's no Linwax um, wood conditioner, no oils or anything like that. There's just two ingredients that I add to the Amsterdam or the other Lucas or Pebio or let's see, Arsloft. Um, uh, Series 3 Professional and the Atelier, those colors, and the golden, the golden um, Florida acrylics, they work great on a cell activator using that particular recipe. Now, of course, each recipe is different. I mean, the Australian Floetrol gives you different cells, but these are very comparable and it's very affordable. So just try that out even as a practice run. So that's for me to use. One part, two parts, US Floetrol to one part water, mix it together and then add it to your paint and get it to the proper consistency to where it's thinner than your color so that when you put it on, it will begin to sink. You'll see a little halo around the puddle and then you know you're good. Okay, that's what you look for before you blow it. All right, so let me get you down to the camera. Thank you for watching and enjoy the video. Bye-bye. I think I can pull this back a little bit. I'm doing a 15 by 30 canvas and I'm going to try to do um, a multiple bloom on this. May require a little bit of tilting, but I'm gonna try to have as low a pillow as possible. And so I hope it works out. Um, my theme behind the colors are the Baltimore Ravens. And so uh, that's where that's where my theme is. So I'm going to be doing um, a couple of different ways I'm layering the colors. But I'm gonna try to do a bloom here, I guess one here and one here. So let's see how that works out. I'm not trying to deconstruct it, but I may have to do a little bit of tilting. But again, we'll see how that works out, all right? So first, let me put some pillow down. Now, I'm not used to working on such a big surface, so let me put this down. So this is something fresh and new for me for a big surface like this. But if I can practice on this size, then I can go a little bit bigger. Eventually, I'm going to try to work up to a 24 by 24, and then the ultimate 36 by 36. That's my ultimate goal. And yes, I have to put on a decent amount of pillow paint, which is the Glidden Premium uh, Pure White. that on the side for a second. Let me grab my spatula. I'm gonna spread this out a bit. What I'm trying to do is have as low of a pillow as possible. So I'm gonna take this paint to the very edges. I'm gonna try to leave it thick enough to where I still have some flow. Hopefully 
it works. So now all the edges, let me be a little bit right here. So all the edges are covered. Okay, like they say, here goes nothing. So let's start <clears throat> with a little bit. I don't want it to take over, but just as a backdrop, that's a little drizzle of black right there. That's it. Then I'm gonna follow it up with um, gold. Brighten that up with, um, this is, that was Tuscan gold. This is le sour lemon prism pour. Nice and bright and yellow. And then, um, this is called French Silk. Has a nice little interference, but has a whitish color to it. Has almost like a gold interference to it. Has some sparkle. This is called African Violet for the purple of the Ravens. Woof, woof. Go Ravens. Then, just to border my blue black cell activator, that's a little touch of titanium white. And the blue black cell activator, I'm just gonna pour it out. Definitely pour out enough, because you want it to spread out over a good amount over a good distance. Hi fam. Let's blow this baby out. Colors are looking fabulous in the middle. Let me puff it a little bit. Now, mind you, This is not going to be spun. I'm gonna try not to do much tilting. Hopefully, something will wake up on that. And so while that's collecting, let's go with balloon number two. And where do I want to take it? 
here. So the middle one, I'm going to change it around a bit. Same colors, but I'm going to use the white over the black as a cell activator to give it the lightning look. Okay. So once again, black, put some of the gold here. The uh, lemon yellow. The French silk, prism pour. The violet. Now a little bit of black and a little bit of white cell activator to go over this. I love that black cell activator though. I almost want to stick with it, but sometimes you just gotta make a little bit of a change up. So that's going to be in the middle. I'm gonna go back to this on this end. So then this white cell activator, pour that on there. Now let's go with that. We're going this direction. Okay. Pepper didn't want to show up. Yellow shit. That's pretty odd. The purples didn't want to show up, but the yellows did. I wonder why. Maybe some of it's hiding under here still. Okay, 
Now, granted, it's not exactly as what's up top, but it still made an inter interesting look. So I'm not going to change it. I'm going to go back to the order that I did up top on this end here. Right in here. One. And then the gold. Then the yellow, the sour lemon. I love this sour lemon because it's very opaque like. Yellow really shows up against a dark background. So I definitely like that. Definitely. Ravens purple. For some reason, I want to take a transfer swipe to kind of like transfer something in there, but I'm going to keep it simple. I'm not going to do that. And again, with my black whoops oh you try something new right titanium white to go under my blue black cell activator that just happened to darken up the purple anyway so it's not going to make too much noise i think so let's see what this ha what happens with this one Trying to catch these little edges. Draw. Blow out some lovelies in here. And hopefully I can get some. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm not gonna tilt it much, but I think I do need to tilt some colors off.
Let's see what happens with that as it collects. So in the meantime, I'm gonna take a look at it. See what you guys see in the camera. All right. And maybe I'll go from side to side. Let me see how much movement I got on this canvas. There is movement, but I'm afraid that if I tilt it too much, I'm gonna lose a lot of my design. So I don't wanna deconstruct it. That's what I don't want to do. So I'm not. It should dry well. It's not a whole lot of paint on here. It's enough to get you concerned, but if it cracks, we can always do it again, right? Of course we can. So I'm gonna modify maybe some of these edges in here and see how that works. Yes. I am very happy with that. So hopefully that drives with no incident. I'm not going to um, I'm not going to move it. My temperature is pretty good for it to stay. And so it should not crack. So let me get you down for a closer look because I'm not going to move this around. I'm not going to tilt it. I just want to enjoy all these beautiful jelly beans and this lacing. Oh, this is pretty. So let me get you down for a closer look. All right, folks, this is the final wet result. Let me get you in for a closer look on that gold and that how that Mayan gold and that French silk put all those flickers of shimmer in there, those different colors. See them little flickers of green and all that? All those different colors shimmer in there. That's from the uh, that French silk. Oh, it's amazing. Look at, look at all that shimmer in there. So when this thing gets resined, OMG, this is going to be lovely. Look at look at that section right there. You see how all those colors shine up? A whole rainbow of shimmer that comes from that French silk. It is beautiful. And then um, and that Mayan gold is shining up really nicely. And that sour lemon, all that is shining up very nicely. You should see it like really um, without the, the light from the phone helps, but to see it um, close up is even better. Now this this part here, the purple didn't show up too much, but you still had a lot of shimmer from the golds and all that, so that's going to still show up pretty nicely, and that's okay. That's almost like a break between the purples. Look at that little glistening area in there. Yeah, that prism pour is the real deal right there. So I'm psyched over that. And then here's the first one. Oh yeah, this is all the modification I did here. You see how those areas are kind of wispy up there? I like that. It's a little separate lacing that's going on in there. And then here's the center of this piece here. This is the first part, which always gets squished as you blow your second bloom. That's just how it works. Your last bloom never gets squished because there's nothing coming behind it. Almost like when you do a, a pearl pour and it seems like one side produces more pearls 
than the last side does because that's the first part that you pull off. And then when you pull all that paint back, you have to go all the way to the other side and you stretch that one side the longest. Let me get you back on that shimmer real quick. Like even in that area there, you see that? But this is just a couple little areas here, but it just shows up on the, um, the light from this camera. You see that? Look at how that shimmers all the way out through here. That is gorgeous. But um, I'm going to pull you back to show you the, the final result from above. I love it. I hope you love it too. So thank you for watching. This is Sheldon from Sherlock Art. And have a great, great evening. Bye-bye.